I think today's gonna be a pretty slow day. It's the first gray day in quite a while. If, if anything, it's one of the first gray days I've actually seen here. And I think it's because it's gonna snow. It was supposed to snow last night and actually snowed in the mountains a lot. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna snow later. So I think we're gonna do another cozy food prep for winter video. I actually just made some bread this morning and I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. It's quite a nice pretty loaf always smells really good and I've become much more much more I've become much more patient in waiting for it to cool down before even thinking about cutting into it so food prep I was actually looking out over some of my old food prep videos from last year that's when I think I really really got into food prepping and trying to preserve my food we still have one jar of the beetroot left and we have like three pickles left from the pickle jar Today I think I'm gonna do some pickling of carrots and some chilies or maybe carrots and jalapenos. We're still seeing some jalapenos in the shop. So I think I might get some of those. I just love pickled jalapenos. I think they're so good, especially because we make lots of wraps with you know peppers and spices and having some jalapenos in there just really go really well. I think I might also make a soup I talked about in my comforting meals for winter that I eat. I was gonna make a creamy bean and kale soup. I never got around to that, so I think I might make that today because it's definitely a soup kind of day. And maybe we will also make a carrot and coriander one, or maybe even a potato and leek one. That one feels a little more seasonal. Although the whole seasonal thing has really thrown me off because it's December, and on Sunday when we went out for our walk that you saw yesterday, the Manitou Incline, he was in a t-shirt and shorts. So I have a lot of learning to do. But I also spent the last uh, couple of nights reading through that tempeh book that I bought. So we're gonna start the process of making tempeh today. I think I'm gonna soak the beans. That's what we have to do first. And then tomorrow we'll actually start the process of making tempeh. So <laughs> unfortunately that'll be in tomorrow's video. Yeah, it's time to start doing that instead of just thinking about it and talking about it. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into food prepping for winter. The first thing I wanted to do was to check the apple cider vinegar just to see how it's getting on. Last week I strained it so I took out all the apple pieces and then I put it back in this jar and let it go for another week. I think it still needs another week, I just was doing the, the smell method just to see if it smelled like vinegar yet but it doesn't so. We're going to be soaking some chana dal, about three cups, this is what we're going to be making our tempeh out of. This is supposed to be one of the quicker, more I guess slightly easier types so I thought I would try that out before diving straight into other ones just in case I wasted anything. I'm also a big fan as I said earlier of pickling jalapenos especially I to be honest I'm not sure if they really are still in season but these ones were pretty fresh and delicious and I find that jalapenos can be quite expensive at the store so I was able to get about 24 jalapenos for four dollars which is usually what I would spend on a quite a small jar of jalapenos. I'm just cutting them and the carrots into rounds and then making the vinegar broth broth I don't know, whatever it's called that goes on top. I filled up oh well, I ended up filling up about three big jars and one smaller jar. And for the brine, I use a one-to-one -one method, so one cup water to one cup vinegar, and then I use about three-quarter tablespoon of both salt and sugar to one cup. And that's pretty much it. After the salt and the sugar has diluted, or dissolved rather, then I just fill them up, put the lids on, and leave them in the fridge. So for dinner we're making this wild rice soup and it's actually incredibly easy which is why I wanted to use it. It also uses a lot of root vegetables that are in season at the moment and I also love mushrooms. The recipe called for wild rice which 
is really nice, but it's very expensive. So if you're making this and you are on a budget, then brown rice will definitely do as well. I added in cannellini beans afterwards because I didn't have any dried ones. And then I added in this sort of coconut milk and cornstarch slurry. I did really like this soup. I just added a bit too much salt, but the rest of it will go in the fridge and the freezer to have as, to have as and when we want it this week. So the chana dal has been soaking for about eight hours and I was going to leave this till tomorrow but I realized that if I soak them early enough we would be able to start the whole process right now. So all I need to do is drain the excess water, then I need to mix in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and a tablespoon or following the directions of the starter that I bought. Mix that all together. Oh no wait, I need to cook the chana dal first for about 15 to 25 minutes, depending. We don't want it to be super smushy and soft according to the book, we want it to be al dente. So I need to just keep an eye on that as it's cooking. And then we add the apple cider vinegar, the tempeh starter, and then we put it in a dish. So yeah, it's exciting to try it out and see what it's gonna look like. I can update you in real time because we're doing a video every day. So you can see what it looks like in the morning and see if it becomes a kind of cake, which is what it's supposed to. Um, so yeah, so I'm just gonna do that now and put those on and yeah. I hope that it's okay that this video is late because I wanted to show you this whole process. Okay, and now we wait. See you tomorrow.